particular to really get you guys either out of rhythm or get get ahead? Well, I just feel like we just got to finish. You know, they did a hell of a job, you know, by executing when it counted. You know, but we, you know, credit to them. When that fourth down uh, scenario came up, uh, was was it? Were you guys thinking and even saying, "Hey, let's go for it"? Of course, it's Dan's decision yeah. ultimately. Yeah. yeah, of course. You know, we all been gonna say, "Let's go for it" on fourth down. Sometimes we be so. Sometimes we feel like we get in a rhythm, not really understanding. You know, we're like, "Let's go for it, let's go for it." But you know, under uh, Coach Dan, you know, he controls, he, he managing the game very well. He understands the situations and game situations. So, uh, you know. In that situation, we wanted us to go for it and try to execute. All right, let's get to the rebound. Yeah. Go to your made a great play. Uh, nothing else. You know, he just hit it real fast. And you know, they executed when they needed to. Were you, uh, in the, I think we were just talking about it when I, when I stepped in. You were, Pretty excited and again the decision to go for it on fourth and one or what were your thoughts? Oh yeah, I always like go for it on fourth and one and stuff, you know, and you know, try to convert, keep the chains moving, you know, try to give us an opportunity to put some points on the board. Are you concerned at all coming into a game like this? I mean a lot of people no. termed it a danger game. So. Uh, you know, I just look at it like it's another game. Every game is just another game. You know, I take every game one game at a time. I'm sure at 2710, uh, you know, it's about the fourth and one thing. You guys believe that we should not have been down in that last play, right? I did. 2710. I just said we got to finish, you know, finish better. That's all it is. We just need to finish better. Did, did you know Denzel at all? I mean, I'm sure you guys, I guess, played a little bit. Did you know him? Yeah, Denzel Perryman, good friend of mine. Oh, really? From Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What Denzel Perryman, good friend of mine. Yeah. How, how long have you known him for? Since I was maybe like ten, really? Yeah. So like playing what youth football? And we stuff? always played against each other and competed against each other. Wow. He played for Coconut Grove. I played for Liberty City. Did. And then he played for um, uh, I forgot that school called. He went to the same school as Frank Gore, but I went to Central, so mm -hmm. it wasn't in our uh, yeah. conference. So we never got a chance to play them in high school. We, we just jumped in here with that full fourth down on your side of the field. Were you surprised you guys went for it? No, you know I know Coach Dan. He's aggressive. We're aggressive. That's what we do. We're going to try to go for it. If we get in a situation like that next game, we're going to do the same thing. And what was the ball? What, what went down? Outside zone. Denzel Perryman made a hell of a play. Stopped us on fourth and one. And Just tip your cap. Hey, you got to tip your cap. You know, Dan in the NFL for a reason. Those guys good, too. I'm just curious. Were you, were you talking to him throughout the game? And did he say anything after the game about making that play? Um, no, Denzel, he's real humble. Mm -hmm. you know, he's a real humble guy. He don't be with all the, you know, the, the trash talking. He don't, he don't ego trip and stuff like that. He just be chilling. Appreciate it, Great.